I was not in a good place at that time. And then uh, I ran into three other people who have since kind of spread all over the place, literally. Um, there was like, they tried like a couple of, uh, several weeks saying, well, come over, come over here. We need to do this poetry thing. There's other things going on. And they actually, were, this was kind of, I was getting like a triple teamed here by these three people. And they kept like, come, 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 at least come listen to us. And I was like, okay. And then I did. And I'm, because uh, one of them was your father. <laughs> was one of them. Jim, you, you also know, and Kendall. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the three of them were like, and you can imagine, when the three of them were all hanging out together, you can imagine them all like working me over. So yeah, it, yeah that, that's a good way to describe it. Intense would be a good way to describe this three as a gestalt. So, um, and then I came over here and I watched, and the first night I came up, John's like, you poet, you do poetry, what you got? And he's like, like yeah, 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 please. And this carried on for probably at least three or four weeks, and um, I've got in a mood where a lot of thing, emotions and things that had been buried down that I kind of touched on that night, and on a napkin, which has since been lost to who knows where, but I know the general gist of the piece, and I still, and I do it, and that was the first piece I wrote as part of my spoken word career. I come from a performance background. I have two theater degrees. I have um, yeah. a bachelor's in theater education and communications from Appalachian State and a master's in theater education where I met Lynn and then the others three them. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, giving all kinds of grief. I'm, Lynn, I enjoy, Lynn, you have been a supportive ally for all of this. She's probably one of the, she's been there from the beginning and seen everything. Um, love you, thank you. Um, not many people can actually get a chair of the department to call them a pain in the ass, but that's, <laughs> that's a talent. So, this was the first piece I wrote, and it's called They Say. You ain't right, they say. You're a freak, they say. You're going to hell, they say. You just ain't right, they say. You haven't met the right man, they say. You haven't met the right woman. I can straighten you out, they all say. I don't like you anymore, they say. And they continue on and say so many things. They say this, they say that. But the one thing I have to say to all of them is fuck you. <laughs> I went to support a friend and to be a volunteer.